Man, I don't understand why I keep making dumb typos, but <laughs> this is like my second time in the last like week I have done a dumb typo, which is very, very frustrating. There, let's fix that. Typos, my goodness gracious. I'm becoming like RC. Then again, I've always spelled Montreal wrong, so I've always spelled Montreal wrong. It, it Where's the broken chair? Oh, I made it so it can stop doing that. I made it so it stops uh, doing that. It stops putting the broken chair as the thumbnail. So it stopped doing that. Hey, Richie Rich, that's my line. Good evening. Lol. Yeah, we all know that's temporary's line. Welcome in, though, space, uh, snowman. <laughs> yeah, I... I got it to work, so it's not the thing anymore. Why is this stadium, like, empty? <laughs> it's at 7 o'clock, so. What's up, Daniel Barry? How we doing? Only bad thing about this is Snowman talking with Daniel Barry. All right. There we go. Are you going to be streaming overtime tonight? Well, the Bruins are playing a crappy team, so it's not out of the possibility. Oh, echo. There we go. Fix that. Okay, so I did put a poll in the chat. Fix that. All right, they're interviewing a couple of Canadians players right now. Hey, hey, Fitzy, what's up, Snowman? Snowman, have you done hockey this year at all? Have you done any hockey this year? I don't know if you've done any hockey games. Talking about Montreal's lineups. Oh, not yet. Yeah, we got to see some snowman multimedia hockey because <laughs> we see a lot of snowman, uh, a lot of snowman college basketball. You need to see some snowman hockey. They're talking about the last time these two teams played where uh, the Bruins absolutely beat the crap out of the Canadians nine to four. Snowman says he might cover the playoffs. Depends on schedule and have to seem to. And have to seem to have a hit with women's college sports. Yeah, you do. You get a lot of people in the chat. I notice when you do like women's college basketball. It's like every time I pop in the chat, uh, I just I lurk around in the chat, and you get like a hundred people watching the game. It's like whoa. 
Like, that's a big crowd. All right, so currently Bruins 38, 15, and 15 on the year. Well, the, or 14, excuse me. Bruin, or Canadians are 25, 30, and 10, I think it said, uh, prior to the game. So, see how we do well. See how we do tonight here with our Bruins game tonight. Eric Armstead just went to the Jags, I'm seeing. Am I glitchy on your guys' end, FYI? All right, guys, am I a little glitchy? Oh, that's why I know why. All right, Linus Allmark is going to be the goalie tonight for the Bruins. Sam, oh my God, Sam Montembell. What? Montembell? I like you say that name. I might have to hear what they say, how to say it. As I'm definitely going to mispronunciate that name. All right, so, so far, this is game four of the series between these two teams. Uh, Boston has won two out of the three, especially the last time these two teams played nine to four beat down by the Boston Bruins against the Canadians in Boston. All right. Bruins and Canadians coming up. Talking about the captain, Nick Suzuki. I have him on my fantasy team uh, this season. Yeah, this is going to be a tough game. Uh, showing the head referees. And we're about to drop the puck. Jim Montgomery. They're showing him on the, on the bench. Don't know who the Canadians coach is, so don't know him. Tonight's stream being brought to you by and or Fago Root Beer. Bruins win the draw. They have it deep inside their own end. Wild Spoon has to chase after it. Wild Spoon sends it out. Turnover forced by the Canadians. Beecher loses it. Here's Laco. Here's Savard. Uh-oh. Anderson right in front. Oh, good poke check here by uh, by Boquist. Anderson tries to clear, and here comes Boston the other way. Pasternak dumps it in, and inside the Canadian end. Here's that. Here's Jack Eye. Clears it out to center ice. No one knocked away. Fans are booing right now, so Canadians bring it up and new hook. Oh, there's a shot on net save made by Allmark. Rebound. It's knocked away, and here comes Boston the other way. Zaka with Coil. Gets it over to Marshan. That one knocked away inside the Canadians end. Stolen away there by Suzuki. Here comes New Hook. New Hook brings it up and he's slammed up against the boards. Wad lays a hit out towards Coyle, over towards DeBrusque. DeBrusque dumps on in, inside the Canadian end. Matheson. Matheson's got it behind his net. 
18-20 to go here in the first period of play. Out to center. Canadian still with control of the puck. Goulet looking for it. Fighting with Pasternak for that puck. Still loose, and Zaka has it at center. Gets it over to Lindholm. He just snaps it in. Pasternak is right there. Chase down Goulet for that puck. Into the corner. Zaka with it. Zaka looks towards Pasternak. Out to the blue line. Carlo shoots. Stop. Oh! Oh, that hit off the crossbar. And that one cleared all the way down by the Canadians as Lindholm has to go get it. Lindholm has it behind his net. 17.30 to go here in the period. Lindholm shoots down out to center, out to Carlo. It goes wide. Rebound controlled by Montreal. Oh. Bruins keep it in. Beecher out to Frederick. Frederick, that one's stolen away. And here comes Montreal. And they introduced these teams earlier, and I don't know shit about the Montreal Canadiens tonight. I don't know much anything about them. Of course, they barely even mentioned the uh, Montreal Canadiens, so this is going to be hard. Here's Brazil. Brazil looking to shoot. That one knocked away. Canadians fighting for it. Wah. Wah gets it over to Harris. That one sent out to center. Oh, it's going to be an icing called against the Canadians as White couldn't get there to beat that icing call. Oh, Parker said something earlier. Sorry, Martin St. Louis is the Canadians coach. Yeah, I don't know much about the Montreal Canadiens. I know like very little. I don't know much. I, I even studied their rosters like for two out for about an hour. Hour and a half today. I still don't know. I, I don't know their team well. Like at all. So <laughs> I, I'm going to definitely screw up on names. White in the face-off circle here for the Canadians. Facing Coyle. And the face-off is won by the Bruins at the blue line. Here's McAvoy. Fires. That one goes wide. Kept in though by McAvoy. And White tries to clear. Raphael Pernard tries to bring it out to center. Stolen away by DeBrusque. DeBrusque charges in right wing, sends it out to the blue line into McAvoy. McAvoy to the corner, over to Coyle, out to DeBrusque. DeBrusque looks, kept in though by Marshan. Oh, it's poked away. Pearson sends that one all the way down inside the uh, Bruins end, and that one's going to be another icing against Montreal. Key parts to the game they're talking about right now. Bruins taking advantage of the death in Montreal, saying capitalize on their uh, opportunities. Why is this profile picture exactly like space fans? My high school baseball team won, Thomas. Ooh, that's nice. My team hasn't even started tryouts yet. Well, they're in tryouts right now, anyway. That picture looks exactly like space fans, except a little bit more different. Talking about uh, no dreams rain Reamstike tonight for the Bruins. So Zaka's in the face-off circle here for... The Bruins. Evans in the face-off circle for the Canadians. Bruins win the draw. McAvoy tries to get it over to Pasternak. Hits off his skate and off of Matheson's skate. And it goes, going to go out of play. Sorry, I'm drinking a Fago. I'm drinking a Fago pop. So face-off inside the Canadian end. Inside Montreal. Inside Montreal's end. I don't know why they take the scoreboard off during face-offs. It's like, guys, I'm trying to see how much face uh, time is on the clock. Suzuki wins the draw for the Canadians. Pearson sends it out to center. Pearson back to Suzuki. Suzuki has it near his own blue line. Montreal just waiting for a play. Now knocked away. Pasternak gets it to Zaka. About to Pasternak. He shoots. Just wide rebound. Is controlled by Bostonok. Sent back out to Zaka. Knocked away. Lindholm in the corner. Oh, Savard is right there to intercept the pass. And Bruins keeping it in play. Lindholm out to McAvoy. Back out to Pasternak. Pasternak into Zaka. 
Saka looks around, passes in front to Postock. Shot saved me. Rebound, Heinen. Oh, they score. Heinen falling down. Somehow Heinen squeaks it through. He was falling down as soon as he shot the puck. And it's one nothing Bruins. Huh. Interesting way to score. Heinen was falling down. They might have gotten penalized if the shot didn't go in. He was already falling down, and he somehow got the shot off. Great pass and great shot. Yeah, that would have been a penalty if the shot didn't go in. And somehow Heinen squeaks it through to make it a one nothing game. See Lee some coming on by. Rich is in here saying, let's go Bruins. Boom. Boom indeed, yeah. So Bruins already have the puck right back inside the Montreal end. Gallagher intercepts the pass, brings it back out to center ice, now inside the Bruin end, but Lorai is there, lays a hit down, and here comes Lorai back the other way. Lorai gets it over to Boquist, just dumps it inside the Montreal end, into the corner. Gallagher steals it away, gets it over to Anderson, back out to Gallagher, shoots right on net, save made by Allmark, and he's going to hold on to it with 14.35 to go. I don't know why my screen makes my face blue. It's really weird. It's like I got enough lights, and yet somehow I am blue, according to my camera. So this this is the fourth and final meeting between these two teams. Bruins already have the 2-1 to one series lead, uh, so they're looking for their third win of the year against the Montreal Canadiens. Face-off inside the Bruins' end. New hook in the face-off circle for Montreal. Frederick in the circle for the Bruins, and it's won by the Bruins. Geeky has control of the puck. Gets it over to Waterspoon. Waterspoon sends it out to Geeky. He falls down. There's Harris. Harris gets it into New Hook. Down behind the net. All mark. Stolen away. Stolen back away here by New Hook. Sends it to the corner. Out to Harris. Harris looks. Arnia. Arnia sends it back over to Harris at the blue line. Harris. Oh, Arnia tries the one-time shot and it goes wide. Rebound control by Newhook. Gets it out to Arnia. Back to Newhook. Newhook into the corner. Kovacevic. Back out to Newhook. Newhook drives. Looking around. Tries to fire it back near the boards. And that one intercepted uh, here by, looks like, Long. Oh, Wasi. Kills the puck, tries to get it right back. He gets it over to Harris. Harris fires one on net. Knocked away here by Watherspoon. Sent out to center ice. Brazil fighting for that puck near center ice. Near the Montreal Canadian logo. Harris with the puck. Harris, watch closely here by Coyle. Harris behind his own net. About 13 minutes to go here in the game. Harris gets it over to Matheson. Matheson brings it out to center. Now up ahead, and that one sent into the corner. Matheson looks. That one knocked away. McAvoy tries to clear. Puck still loose. Debrusque. Oh, shot on net. Goes, may have gotten blocked, but McAvoy controls the rebound. Shoots it out to center. Rice up ahead. Tries to get it to Marshan, and he's on side. Marshan now goes behind the net. Sends it back out to the blue line. Laura over to McAvoy. McAvoy shoots. That one goes wide. We got a delayed call. It's against the Canadians. And we're Bruins are going to be on the power play. Gooley is going to go to the box here for Montreal. I hate allergies. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not a big fan of allergies. Van Duji. Bo is saying hello from the Netherlands. Oh, well, hello from the U.S. How you doing? Got seven likes already on the stream with seven people watching. Let's go. I got allergies real bad right now. Bad or COVID. Um, I'm starting to get sick, but it's not allergies. We had to go read to some, my school decided to say, hey, let's go read to little kids, uh, read books to little kids. So like, oh, sure. Okay. One of those kids there, 
uh, decided to cough in my face. And now I feel like absolute garbage. Now I'm sick as crazy. It's about to be. It's like, kid, cover your mouth. It's like, especially in these times, cover your mouth. Hello from Texas. Hello from Texas, says Seely. Texas. Never been to Texas, so I wouldn't know much about it. Stop. Oh, this is a pure adrenaline thing. They're talking food. Hey, pure. If you're here, they're talking food. They're talking food. Talking Applebee's. Did you get the kid out of the class? No, he's a second. He was a second grader. I've never been to Michigan. I, I have relatives who live in Texas. My uncle lives in Texas. Him, his wife, and two kids. They come up here, but we never travel down. They, they've come up here like a couple of times that I know of, but we never go down there. Because they're actually from here. But they moved down to Texas for some big job. And they pay well, apparently. So here's DeBrusque. Gets it to Coil. Coil over to Marshan. Ooh. Montembeau makes a big save. That's how you say his name. Montembeau makes a big save as Marshan was robbed on the backhand. People don't know how to cover a mouth. People don't cover a mouth and it makes people sick. That's, why, that's one of the big things that makes me mad it's like guys it's like if you guys know what era we basically live in right now with uh, well, i don't know sicknesses then you know you should probably cover your mouth because you know you get people sick oh canadians win the draw matheson gets it to savard and he shoots it all the way down the ice as all mark plays it and he gets it over to mcavoy mcavoy brings it up mcavoy Gets it to DeBrusque. Go over to Pasternak. Pasternak out to DeBrusque. Bad pass. Controlled, though, by Marshan. Marshan looks. Gets it over to DeBrusque. DeBrusque shoots. Saved by Benoit. Rebound. Montembeau, excuse me. Pasternak shoots. That one got blocked. Evans with the block shot. DeBrusque over to McAvoy. McAvoy out to Lorai. Out Marshan shoots. Oh. Matsubo makes another save. McAvoy with the rebound out to Coyle. Coyle pass broken up, sent to the blue line. It's McAvoy. McAvoy looks at the blue line, fires. Matsubo makes the save. Rebound, puck still loose. Debrus quacking at it. Matsubo makes the save, and he's sitting on the puck, still looking for it. And the ref blow it at is Savard trying to pick a fight. But Matsubo sitting on the puck, so nobody can whack at that. To make the save. Canadian's penalty kill doing really good right now. Let's see. Puck still loose. Does not. Oh, yep. It does not cross the blue line. Does not cross the red line. Fix something. Lorai loses the puck, cleared all the way out to center. Cleared out to center. Lorai gets it over to Geeky. Geeky losing that puck. And now it cleared out to center. Five seconds to go. And you're preaching to the choir. I don't understand why it does that, but oh well. I don't know. Ask my ask my camera. Except my computer is basically like an ancient laptop. My computer is old. That's all I'm gonna say. And it 
not the greatest when it comes to this. It's probably also my laptop that I'm watching this on. There's a shot, save made by Boquist. Rebound to the corner. Bucks to Luf. Montembeau makes another save. Flacco shoots and another stop. Into the corner. Ooh, big hit slammed against the boards. Oh, they can't clear. Montreal's going to try to clear it. They uh, will out to center. Carlo gets it into Boquist. Boquist lifts it out to center. Now inside the Montreal end. Arshan tries to keep it in. He does. Suzuki tried to clear, but he could not. Watherspoon at the blue line. Shot Montebo. A save made in the corner. It's the reflection from my computer. Because my computer is blue. And it like shoots some type of reflection or something. I don't know exactly what. Because you, you can see it. It's on, For you guys, it's on the left side of my face. And my computer is right here. Like right there. So it's like right here where this reflection is. So. I got to find a way to fix that. So, cleared in this, inside the Montreal end. You're glowing. Yeah, I'm glowing. I'm very special. Here's Sakovsky. Shoots on net and a stop by Omar as it hits off his shoulder and it goes out of play. And it's going to go out. Of, it did go into the netting out of play. They're going to go to a TV timeout. 9.03 to go. See if I place it here. Does that make it any better? No, it makes it worse, actually. Yeah, that might can make it a little better. Canva. I use Canva. I could do this. We lost two. We lost a lot. We lost three subs uh, during the day. So now we're down to 961. I didn't use my computer anymore because it's broken and move it over to the tablet. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't. It's not anything bad. It's just like, well, just makes my screen blue. <laughs> makes my face blue. What difference does it make? Doesn't affect me. Doesn't affect the stream. Just makes my face blue, and it makes me look like I drank chemicals. Makes me look like an alien. Makes people I know mad. Probably makes uh, uh, the girl I talk to pretty mad. Isn't Pierre supposed to be going live soon? He hasn't stopped in the chat. Usually he stops in before he streams. Oh, yeah, he's doing the Maple Leafs game tonight, right? Is he doing the Maple Leafs game tonight? Maple Leafs and Flyers? I thought, honestly, I thought that game started at 7, but I realized it started at 7.30. Still talking about Brad Marchand. Marchand currently with 399 career goals, fifth all-time in Bruins history. Right behind Rick Middleton, needs three more to pass Rick Middleton. Or four more, actually, to pass Rick Middleton. I'm a vote. All right, so here we go. Face off inside the Canadian um, Bruins end, and it's actually won by the Bruins. Lindholm has the puck. Sends it out to the blue line. Pasternak loses the puck at center. Still in center ice, actually. Suzuki. Matheson out to Suzuki. Fires it into the corner, and Lakovsky tried to get there first, and he does. Lakovsky passed in front to Suzuki, knocked away. Cooley shoots, save made by Allmark, rebound. Suzuki whacking at it, and another stop by Allmark as it's cleared out to center ice. Oh, Canadian somehow keeping it on side. We got a whistle. Huh? Whoa, they're calling the puck was played with a high stick. I didn't see a puck played with a high stick. Calling it behind the play. Oh, boy, Bruins, Red Sox, yeah, Red Sox, Bruins nearly just gave up a goal there. There's Johnny. I wonder, like, I didn't see him, so like, where did he go? Tablet's better than the computer, and because laptop always freezes on you. Uh, my laptop's pretty good, except it's just old. It's old. It's a good laptop. It lasts for a long, long time. It's a good laptop, but like I said, computer 
camera isn't the greatest as it used to be. Like if I started streaming a few years ago, I'd have peak stuff, but not anymore. Oh, Lacko crushes, um, look like Matheson up against the boards. Canadians keep it in. Mia with a, Mia with a shot and a save made by Allmark. He's going to hold on to it. A few people watching this. Once again, if you're new to the channel, share the stream out with your friends. Make sure to like, subscribe, help the channel out. I greatly appreciate it if you can. That'd be nice. All right, here we go. Face off inside the Bruins end of the ice to the left of Linus Allmark. New hook in the face off circle for the Canadians, and Frederick is in the circle for the Bruins. Face off is won by the Bruins. Oh, no, actually, the Canadians. There's a shot on net save. Allmark. Rebound controlled by Montreal. They send it back to the blue line, and it goes over a stick into center. Montreal slaps it right back in. McAvoy is there. Canadians get a fresh set of legs on the ice. That shot tipped in front goes wide. Marbia out to Harris. Harris over to Wad. Kept in though by the, the Canadians. Pass in front. There's a Marbia shoot. Save. Allmark. Puck still loose. Canadians have control of it. Sent to the corner. And Bruins try to clear. Oh, that one knocked away. And McAvoy has control of it. Sends it out to Frederick. Frederick steamrolled as he brings it into the. Canadians end. Kovacevic tries to clear, gets it over to Armia. He cannot. Bruins keeping the pressure going. DeBrus gets it over to Frederick, out to the blue line. Beak over to Wallace Shot. Montembeau makes the save. Rebound controlled by uh, the Canadians. They have him behind the net, behind their own net. Shout out to center ice. Beak. Gets it over to DeBrusque, out to Coyle. Coyle. Coyle gets it into DeBrusque. DeBrusque feeds it to the blue line. Why the spoon shoots? That one goes wide. DeBrusque tries to get the rebound. He cannot. Knocked away. Gallagher tries to keep it in. He will. Out to Coyle. Coyle loses the puck, and Batheson brings it up to center. Batheson hits off a Wilder spoon. It's still in center ice, and the Canadians dump it right back in. Wilder spoon out to. Uh, Beak out to Zaka over to Marshan. Marshan at, at the Canadian blue line. Marshan gets it over to Pasternak. Pasternak pass to Zaka. Broken up. Rebound by Carlo. Carlo to Pasternak. Shot. Matsubo makes another save. Into the corner. Zaka with it. Zaka to the blue line. Gets it over to Carlo. Carlo shot. Matsubo makes a save. Rebound. Puck still loose. Pasternak looking for that puck. Couldn't find it. Canadians bring it out to center. Gallagher loses it. And the Bruins force a big turnover. Uh-oh. Montreal does clear. Caulfield trying to spin and trying to spin past Lindholm, but Lindholm with some good defense as he gets it out to Zaka. Chipped in the air. Canadians keep it in. Suzuki. Suzuki backhands it in. Carlo trying to get it out. Sent to the blue line. Turnover in front. Shot. Save. Suzuki. Rebound. They score. Nick Suzuki in front. Lakovsky shot it and a big rebound. And Suzuki ties it up at one. Oh, I got a phone call. Excuse me one moment. Hold on. I'll be right back. I shall return. Just give me one second.
<sighs> Alright, sorry about that. I'm going to answer a quick important phone call about something I have to do on Sunday. It's kind of important. Oh, Suzuki dumps it in. Is he going to beat it out? Nope, it's an item. Sorry. It is an important, that was an important phone call I did have to make. So. Yeah, shut up. Got 12 votes in the poll. Ruins uh, in the poll, uh, in the lead in the poll. All right, here we go. Still one to one in favor. Oh, <laughs> face off inside the Bruins end. It's won by the Canadians. Do you know that Sam Howell got traded to the Seahawks? I did see that uh, a few seconds before I went live. I didn't read much on it. I didn't see who he got traded for. Bruins bring it inside the Canadian end. Heinen fighting for that puck along with Savard. Sent to the corner. Pasternak loses it. Gets it over to Zaka in the corner. I don't know what he was traded for, but I saw like Howell is, to, Howell is now a Seahawk on the NFL Twitter page. Heinen. Looking for that puck sent to the corner. And now out to the blue Canadian blue line. Stolen away by Pasternak. He tries to force a turnover on Mia. Gets it into Suzuki. Caulfield has had an 11 games goalless streak. Slowakovsky dumps it inside the Bruin end. Lorai tries to get rid of it. Get, somehow gets it over to Boquist. Out to McAvoy. Now out to Zaka. Boquist sends it in the corner. Lorai looking for it into the corner. Locko, that one knocked away. Gustafson brings it up. Gustafson fires it into the corner, now inside the Bruin Den. Watherspoon tried to clear. Looks, passes it out to the blue line. Locko, that one is knocked away and cleared out to center ice. Peak brings it inside the Montreal end. Stolen away here by the Canadians. Harris at the Bruin blue line. Dumps it in. Oh, it gets it over to Harvey Pennard. Now it knocked off his stick, and Peak tries to clear for the Bruins. Peak gets it over to Coyle. That one sent back inside his own end. Coyle brings it out to center. Oh, nearly uh, went out of play. Locko keeps it in, dumps it in, gives it over to Coyle. Coyle, good toe drag, drives behind the net, past Montembeau. Now goes to the other corner. Carlo. Carlo looks, looks, still looking, gets it over to DeBrus. DeBrus nearly loses it at the blue line, sent into the corner. Heinen over to Marshan, and he slammed up against the boards. One minute to go here in the period. Out to the blue line. Harris. Wa fighting for that puck inside the Bruin den. Cleared out, cleared to Marshan. Marshan gets it into Coil. The Bruins peel off as they get a change. Yep, Dan Campbell signed an extension, staying there until 2027. Here's New Hook. Drives in, new hook, sent it to the corner. And that one goes all the way down to center ice. Stolen away, though, by Pasternak. Pasternak with a good move and knocked away. As Waugh clears it away, Zaka with the steal. Gets it to Pasternak, back to Zaka. Shoots, Montembeau makes a save. As Gooley gets it away, six seconds to go. Five, gets it to Evans. Ooh, ooh, there's a shot. Allmark makes the save, but it goes out of play. As we go to the first intermission, tied up at one. Montreal ties this game up at one after the goal by Suzuki. Devin White is signing a one-year deal with the Eagles. Oh, referees are talking about something. Oh my God! Who cares if there is half a second left if the intermit if the puck went out of play? Who cares? Oh my God! I don't care if there's like 0.3 seconds left on the clock uh, when the puck went out of play. Who cares? Oh, there you go. Got to add 0.5, 0.15 seconds on the clock. Faceoff is won by the Canadians. Shot on net. Down goes wide. And finally, that's the end of the first intermission. All right, so we go to the end of the first period in one period. Half, end of one. Uh, Bruins and Canadians currently tied at one. Uh, 
Right, I'm gonna send. <sighs> What's going on with Pure? He's got four people watching his stream tonight. Oh, Pure's doing some spring training baseball tomorrow. All right, so we still got four people watching. Once again, if you're new, sure drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'm going to send this out to like Twitter. This stream out to like Twitter or something. Yeah, so the Eagles just signed Devin White. I got Pure playing in the background. Let's check out some NHL games that are going on right now. Uh, Panthers top NHL.com power ratings. Uh, first intermission over in Buffalo. Uh, Islanders and Sabres scoreless after one period. Uh, Panthers and Hurricanes currently scoreless. 407 to go in the first. Uh, Carolina is on the power play, though. Two seconds left in the first period. The Blue Jackets have a one nothing lead over the Senators. Uh, 20 seconds left in the first period over in Detroit, where the Coyotes and Red Wings are tied up at one. Our game, one to one. Uh, first period over in Pittsburgh. The Sharks have a 2-1 to -one lead over the Penguins. Um, first period, about a minute to go in, there, in that game. The first period play over there. Rangers have a 2-0 lead over the Lightning. Um, Flyers trail to the Maple Leafs 1-0. 16-11 to go in the first. Other games going on, Devils and Stars at 8. Ducks and Wild at 8. Golden Knights and Flames at 9. And Capitals and Kraken at 10 o'clock. Who scored for the Flyers? Who scored in that game? Let's check these games out. Who scored? Oh, ho, ho, Bertuzzi. Who scored him for the Red Wings in my... Who scored for my Red Wings tonight? Raymond on the power play. And then Luke, Logan Gooley, Cooley on a shorthanded goal. God damn it, Detroit. Why can we not learn how to play hockey? Like in the first period of play. Jeez. Temporary is in here saying Orioles 5, Pirates 2. Over 5, oh, oh that's, that's Devin White. Talking about Devin White right now on the NFL, NFL website. I don't care about Devin White. I'm still pissed off that Calvin Ridley didn't sign with the Patriots because we need a wide receiver and we don't get one. So that either means we're getting Marvin Harrison or whatever's happening or we're signing Malik Neighbors. Let's see what the Patriots have been doing today, though. Uh, Patriots, where are they? 
Patriots has Devontae Parker has been released. Thank you, Jesus. I hated Devontae Parker so much. I hated him. I, I could not stand Devontae Parker. I hated Devontae Parker with a burning passion because Devontae Parker could not get open. Devontae Parker was never freaking open. And how he... <laughs> like, brother. Like, you suck. Temporary, what's going on? What's going on? I saw uh, Samir Bavhani, Bavnani, or whatever his name is, yesterday. Uh, during your stream. Samir Bavnani. Uh, I don't know what to think about his channel. I, I really don't. It's really confusing. Man is confusing. I know that. And also in that, in that episode yesterday, I didn't know heaven was in Iowa, basically. Because if heaven was in Iowa, I would have been in Iowa right now. Pretty garbage life lessons, to be honest with you. I was so confused. <sighs> okay. Yeah, don't fart. It can ruin the marriage. Well, then I guess most of us are screwed. Well, then I guess a lot of people are screwed. What's this? Well, I don't care. That's been going on for like two years now. I don't care. Let's see what's going on. Oh, God. Why can't I type on a phone? This is set. Uh, National Hockey League. No, I didn't want NHL. I wanted NBA. What is going on in MLB? What is going on in MLB? Red Sox lost to the Phillies 6-1. to one. Uh, Astros and Nationals. Nationals have a 5-3 lead, bottom of the sixth inning. Tigers won 7-0 over the Yankees. Mets and Cardinals went scoreless. Uh, honestly, if a game goes scoreless in spring training, I would like to see extra innings. That's my rule. Tampa Bay beat uh, the Rays, beat the Braves three to one. Blue Jays beat the Twins five to one. Orioles beat the Pirates five to two. White Sox beat the Angels five to one. We got a football score. The Guardians beat the Rockies 13 to seven. Cubs beat the Athletics three to one. Royals beat the Diamondbacks six to nothing. And Mariners beat the Brewers five to two or four to two. Other game. Only other spring training game going on later today is the Reds and Rangers at 9.05. Hey, what's the name of that free thumbnail making site you were telling me? I forgot. Canva. Canva.
I love Stroman telling the Yankees, nah, I'm not in the mood to start opening day. Well, they kind of need him since he's the only other pitcher. He's the only other really good pitcher on the Yankees depth chart after what Garrett Cole is hurt. Garrett Cole's hurt, so he needs to step up. Ace goes down. The one dude you sign as a free agent, you'll look to be your best option. A fresh on a new contract he says, nah, not a good look. Well, the only other option they had was looking for Dylan Cease. Oh, but he got traded uh, to the Padres, right? And, well, now you either sign Snell or Montgomery. Preferably Snell. I'm sorry, but Scott Boris just needs to learn. Like, you're not going to get those contracts. You're not going to get a seven-year, $200 million contract. Then you should probably back down. And your best you're going to get is probably a two-year deal. G. Lito signed a two-year, $38 million deal. They won't start Rodon. Oh, my God. Rodon is horrible. I'm sorry, but Rodon is literally trash. Neither Snell or Montgomery. What what you said? Neither Snell or Monty would be ready to start an OD at this point anyway. Well, maybe if they actually signed a contract, they would have been. <laughs> I mean, people, I know there's like dumb Twitter accounts uh, that say it's all Giolito's fault that he got hurt. And that kind of make it kind of frustrates me. Like there's like. I don't know if you follow on Twitter. It's like Bastards of Boston Baseball or something, but it's like, uh, it's not Giolito's far, fault. He tore something in his elbow because if you look some, because if you look at his injury history, he really was not a person who got hurt. But yes, it's Giolito's fault that he tore his uh something in his elbow, and now he's out for the year. It's all Giolito's fault, apparently. Yanks aren't going to pay for us money than double it with payroll tax. I hope the Yankees don't sign anybody because, you know, screw the Yanks. But I don't like, I don't, I, I don't like the Yankees. I mean, obviously, but But uh, I know Boston, Boston's got to get a pitcher. Boston has to get a pitcher. I don't want to see another year of Garrett Whitlock. Oh, they're talking about this right now. Three on three overtime among many ideas uh, with the with the GM meetings coming up. So they're going to probably talk about four on four hockey. So basically the Yankees might be starting. Wait, hold, on, hold on, let me click on it. There it goes. So basically, the Yankees might be starting opening day with a long man slash batting practice by committee, a team who's just signed Soto three million three hundred million dollar payroll just to train right. Coaches challenges, goaltender interference, and kicked in pucks likely will be revisited this year. Oh, bullpen. I thought you meant bat in practice, like a bat practice, man. Gotcha. But, yeah. Who will be the Yankees like open? I know. Isn't it like, I can't really name everybody in the Yankees rotation, but isn't it like Garrett Cole, Marcus Stroman, uh, Carlos Rodon, no, nope, he get, no, he left the Yankees. So never mind. He left the Yankees last year. He was with the Yankees last year, but he left. Uh, what's his face? I said Rodon. Can't remember the other guy. I have to look up. But the Red Sox current rotation as of right now is. Somewhat looking like it's going to be Brian Bale, Cutter Crawford, Tanner Houck, uh, Garrett Whitlock, and Cooper Criswell or Josh Winkowski as the number five. 
Cooper Criswell has been looking good, though, honestly, as a Red Sox. So, honestly, I didn't like the Cooper Criswell signing, but right now, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, I mean, it is something, the bullpen, uh, but, I mean, we look at Chris Martin. We signed Chris Martin last year. I didn't really care for the Chris Martin signing. Holy crap, I regret those words. I love Chris Martin. He was one of the best relievers in baseball last year. So, I love Chris Martin. I mean, imagine as a Sox fan, even if you aren't happy with the rotation you got, your opening day starter was some dude who normally comes uh, in to mop up a block. <laughs> Ooh, Brian Bayo? Oh, I love Brian Bayo. Brian Bayo is... I mean, dude literally just signed a six-year extension. But I think it's like six years, $55 million. Got him for cheap. I mean, if Pedro Martinez loves the Brian Bayo extension, I love the Brian Bayo extension. I've loved Brian Bayo from the start. I've loved Brian Bayo like when he came in, like he started last year. I'm like, yeah. I'll take Brian Bayo opening day. I'll take Brian Bayo opening day. I'll do it. Who would you want? Not Garrett Whitlock. <laughs> I ain't taking Garrett Whitlock opening day. I'm going Brian Bayo. I'm going Brian Bayo, Sox opening day starter. That's, that's who I'm going with. Because... I'm not so fully trusted with Tanner Houck because I don't know if he's going to – because last year he didn't come back so well from being line drive in the face. Who is – did the Red Sox announce who they I mean, <sighs> temporary. Last year, last year, uh, the Red Sox started Corey and Kluber against the – on opening day. Corey and Kluber. Corey Kluber for opening day. I mean, would you want Corey Kluber to start your opening day roster, or would you rather have the Red Sox? Or would you rather have Brian Bayo? Me personally, I'd have Brian Bayo, because Cor uh, Corey Kluber got absolutely shelled against your Orioles. So, sent Corey Kluber into a retirement. No, that was against the Cardinals. No, that was the Cardinals that sent Corey Kluber basically into a retirement. And then when he came in out of the bullpen, he was even worse. No, nope. tell you. Oh, Nick Pavetta. I forgot Nick Pavetta was also going to be in the rotation. Nick Pavetta. The depth chart says Justin Slayton is your long man. So the real comp is Slayton starts opening day. Are you happy? Nope. 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 I don't want Slayton. I want Bayo to be the opening day starter. I want Brian Bayo as the opening day man. I want Brian Bayo or what's his face? Uh, Tanner. I probably want Brian Bayo or Tanner Houck. I really don't want anybody else. Uh oh. Goody brings it up here for the Canadian shot goes wide. Jason McKay saying hello from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. The home away from home from our Boston Bruins. So that's my point. I mean, whoever we start at rotation as opening day, it's not going to be well. Because the Bruins, because the Red Sox have to start out west to start out the season. Lorai brings it in, looks. Lorai drives in, hit up against the wall. Lorai looking around, pinned up against the wall here by Gooley over to Matheson into the corner, knocked away. Permanent Tepgray saying hi to Seely. Slakowski tries to clear it out into center ice, and he will, but he gets it right over to Matheson. Seeley saying, I'm sorry if I ruined your stream last night. Temporary. All right. Gets it over to Carlo. Carlo out to his own end. Canadians keeping it in the center. And then, well, cool to Caulfield. Caulfield over to Ameria. That one knocked away. But as a fellow anti-Yank, we can share our joy knowing the Yankees are already in trouble. Well, now I know the Yankees aren't winning the division. Hein in. Heinen brings it out to center ice now here for the Bruins. Heinen to Pasternak, back to Heinen. Heinen brings it up to center, back to Pasternak. Shot, Montembeau makes the save. As he's going to hold on to it. Hey, you didn't, you didn't hit it all, man. No worries. See, before the Red Sox, before the Garrett Cole and 
uh, Aaron Judge somewhat injuries, or at least injury news I've been hearing. I had the Yankees competing for the division. Now, mm, I don't know. Now I'm thinking it's either Tampa or Baltimore is winning the division. I actually, temporary, you're never going to hear me say it again, but I highly now believe that Baltimore is going to win the division. Here's Geeky behind the net. Geeky fighting for that puck into the corner, knocked away here by Evans. Oh, we got a delayed call. We're going to have a holding call. It's going to be against the Canadians. It's Kovacevic. It's going to be Kovacevic called for a hold. But temporary, you know, man. Uh, we got to see, man. Uh, Boston and Baltimore. First series the Red Sox play at home is against the Orioles. So temporary. We got to see how that works. I have been mentally unfit a few days and bleeding into my stream. You are fine, Seeley. I'm admittedly sensitive at the moment, which on social media is never a good time. Yeah, Baltimore won 101 games, I believe, right? I think it was 101. Poshnock drops it back off. Poshnock to Marshan, bad pass. Marshan clears it to the blue line. McAvoy to Marshan. Back out to DeBrusque behind the net. DeBrusque to Marshan. Marshan to DeBrusque. Oh, Matavo with the pad makes the save. Into the corner. Pasternak over to McAvoy. Back out to Pasternak. Pasternak looks. Shoots. Stop. Matavo makes another save. Into the corner. Matavo clears down and back out to center and knocked away. And Matheson clears down out to center ice. Yeah, 101. That's what I thought. Is he at 100 or 101? I couldn't remember. Marshan curls in center. Looks, gets it to the blue line, out to McAvoy. Dumped into the corner, played by Pasternak. Pasternak, looks. Pasternak. Pasternak over to McAvoy. Shot, Matabo makes a save. Seeley says, I think they're division favorites at this point. Now the Red Sox are going to be division six. No, I'm just kidding. The Red Sox ain't even going to compete the division. Gooley wins the draw. He's going to clear it all the way down to center. Now inside the Bruin den, as Allmark has to play it, it's it ahead to McAvoy. McAvoy gets it up ahead over to Heinen. Bad pass, and it comes back out to center. Allmark has to play it behind his net again. He gets it out to Pasternak. Pasternak brings it in. Gets it to McAvoy. Out to Zaka. Zaka over to Marshan. And Amara clears it all the way down. 20 seconds to go. McAvoy has the puck. 6.18 to go. McAvoy gets it over to Geeky. He loses the puck and that is cleared out to center. Kovacevic down two seconds on his penalty. One inside the Bruin end. Power play is over. Kovacevic out to McAvoy over to Zaka. That one knocked away inside the Montreal end. Well, you guys know my opinion. 101 teams for that one is young. Now you're better at a legit ace. I don't think they're going to repeat as 100 wins, but they could get close to it. I'd say like maybe 99. Slightly, slight regression. Slight regression. Maybe go like 99, but still have like the first seed or second seed in the in the AL. It's like, I'm not saying 100 wins is impossible. There's a shot. Anderson behind the line. Anderson looks for a pass, knocked away. The only reason temporary, I would say that you're not going to win 100 games is because of that June is because of that month of June for the Orioles. That's the only reason I would say they're not winning 100 games. Frederick has tripped up, no call. Lindholm brings it out to the blue line, back out to Brazil. Brazil out to Zaka, that one knocked away into the corner. 
I'd say like maybe 95, 97 wins. Anderson out to Suzuki. He shoots down and goes wide in the corner. Boquist looking for that puck. Over to Watherspoon. Watherspoon gets it out to Laco. Laco at his own blue line. Now into center ice. Gets it to Boquist. Boquist looks. Dumps it into the corner. Kovacevic slammed up against the boards. Laco gets the loose puck. Sends it to the blue line. Ooh, shot goes wide. Rebound controlled by the Bruins. Boquist behind the net. Looks, looks. Knocked away here by Zaka. Suzuki tries to clear. It's kept in though by Wilderspoon. Now cleared all the way down to center. As Kovacevic gets it over to Suzuki, it's knocked away. Zaka gets the rebound. It's dead to Beecher. Beecher uh, Beak sends it in. Matabo has to play it behind his net. He gets it over to Kovacevic. Yeah, I know. I'm sweating June. You honestly cannot make a tougher month. That month is tough. Kovacevic behind his net. 13.45 to go here in the in the second period. Kovacevic with a long pass out to Wah. Off the stick of McAvoy. McAvoy over to Laura. I stole away, but McAvoy gets the puck right back. McAvoy tries to clear. He cannot set into the corner. Out to Lorai. Lorai gets it ahead to Pasternak. Pasternak brings it in. Here he comes. Pasternak looks, looks, goes over to the corner. Pasternak loses the puck. Wab pokes it away. Still loose inside the Canadian's end, and it's here comes Montreal the other way. Oh, McAvoy loses it. Ooh, Armia shoots. Save made by Allmark. It's kicked away into the corner. McAvoy over to Heinen, bounces off his stick and inside the Montreal end. Yeah, you're going to, temporary is going to hate the month of June. Here is Armia. Gets it up ahead. Over to Clorbuck. Not Clorbuck, jeez. Armia tries to keep it inside the Bruins end. They cannot coil. Brings it out to center. Canadians bring it, shoot it right back into center ice. Carlo with it in his own end. Gets it in to Lorai. Lorai behind the net. Out to Marchand. Now it's stolen away. Ooh, Pearson shoots. That one just goes wide. Rebound controlled, though, by the Bruins. Nope, they lose it behind their net. Here's Harvey Pennard. Harvey Pennard over to Cooley. And that one's sent out of play. Nope, they're going to go to a TV timeout. I think. Yep, they're going to, might be going to a TV timeout. Sounds like they will. Thoughts on Peak so far, says Ryan. Uh, don't know much about him. Uh, he, he's played okay so far. I mean, I think this is the first game he's ever played, uh, at least in the Bruins games I've watched. So I'd say maybe ask me that question like maybe in another week or so. But okay so far. Hasn't made too many bad plays. Dallas is in here saying, go Habs, go. <sighs> Dallas. Dallas says, uh, how are that Maple Leafs doing? I don't, Dallas, how are the Maple Leafs doing? I haven't checked the score. I've only checked the score once, but that was at like the beginning of the first period. Canadians win the draw inside the Bruins end. Carlo tries to get rid of it, gets it over to DeBrusk. Back out to Carlo, over to Wotherspoon. Bruins dump it inside the Canadians end. 
Armia. Now it's sent out to the blue line. Armia looks. Shosh and here's Anderson into the corner. Looks. Anderson to the blue line. Out to Gooley. Gooley over to Gallagher. Shot. Oh, Mark makes it. May have gotten blocked. Matheson sent, centering pass in front. Knocked away here by Lindholm. And now cleared all the way down. And it's going to be an icing against the Bruins. Dallas says uh, Leafs two, Flyers zero. We had three, but it was taken back. Oh. Sean Peak, one of the Bruins rookies, called up for this game. Face off inside the Bruins end. It's won by the Bruins. Armia, Wotherspoon, oh, Wotherspoon chips it away, and he goes all the way out into center ice. Bruins getting a few changes. Goal, 3 nothing Leafs. Here's Lakofsky, brings it into center. Lakofsky over to Atkinson. He loses the puck. Frederick with the steal. Frederick shoots on that. Montembo makes the save. Rebound controlled by Boston. Geeky onto Wotherspoon. Shot is blocked. May have broken his... Oh, broke the stick. Lakovsky. Lakovsky. Brings it out to center over to Suzuki. Knocked away. Wotherspoon. Wotherspoon steals it away out to Frederick. He loses the puck. Cleared back into center ice. Wotherspoon is what the puck. Gets it over to Boquist. Boquist out to Brazil. Now it knocked away. Over towards Suzuki. Suzuki loses the puck. Cleared back into center ice. Out towards Matheson. Matheson sends it out to center. Center. Montreal shoots it out to center. And it. Zaka loses it. Gets it over to Wotherspoon. Wotherspoon has it in his own end. Halfway done through the period. Wotherspoon with a backhanded pass. Dumps it inside the Canadian end. Surprised it wasn't called for an icing. Whoa. Brazil lays a huge hit on Matheson in the corner. Brazil looks. That one knocked away. Here comes Montreal the other way. Anderson shoots. That one goes wide. Rebound controlled by Boston. Brazil. Gets it to Delaco over to Beecher. That one lost and goes back in the center. Boston with control. Lindholm is with it. Lindholm brings it past his blue line. Gets it over to Beecher. Beecher dumps it in. Played by Locko. Locko looking for that puck. Whoop! Oh, it went out of play. Saying the puck went out of play. And they're going to go to another stoppage. All right. 1-1 one, one tie so far. Somebody voted here for an overtime slash shootout. Bronny James is not ready for the NBA. Doesn't even average 10 points in college. Why is he ready for the NBA? Why are people saying he's ready for the NBA? <laughs> I don't get it. Why is they saying he's ready for the NBA? He's not. Not even close. Bronny's not even close to becoming an NBA player. Oh, he's ready for the draft. Not even close. Nope. Don't even... Bronny ready for the NBA? Declare for the draft or return to college? Uh, he should go to college. Play more college ball. As uh, I'm not taking a pick. I'm not taking a first round pick on a guy who barely even scores 10 points in college. I'm not doing that. That's dumb. D-U-M. Dumb. D-U-M. Once again, if you're new to the channel, drop a like, subscribe, help the help the channel out. Got six people watching this. <clears throat> Got 
Dallas has sent me a picture on Discord. Turkey chili. Dallas has sent me a picture of chili. Dallas is trying to entice me with food. It's not working, Dallas. I already ate before the stream, so ha ha ha. Heinen has it near the Canadian blue line. Heinen drives in, drops it back off to Lorai. Lorai shoots, just goes over the glove. Uh, Montville rebound controlled by Heinen. Heinen gets it into Zaka. Zaka looks, sends it to the corner. Lorai. Lorai over to Heinen. Out to Pasternak. Pasternak to Lorai. Lorai tries to shoot it in front. Knocked away. And Canadians have control of the puck. You know you're hungry. Yeah, sure. I can do that with temper, right? I'll have to answer. I'll have to answer this after the stream's done. But, yeah, I can do that. Pepper, if you're still here, yeah, I can do that. Pinard loses it. Zuki kicks it to back to him. Matheson in it at the blue line. Looks, gets it to him. Matheson looked like he broke his stick. Sent into the corner. McAvoy. McAvoy over to Heinen. Heinen sends on out to center ice. Matheson's got the puck. Goulet. Gooley tries to get it over to Harvey Pernard, trying to get there first, and he does beat it out. Pearson as well, helping him out. Pearson in the corner. Pearson over to Zaka. Pearson looks. Pearson over to Dooley. That one knocked away. Center to center ice. Two on one with Martian. It's DeBrusque. DeBrusque charges in. Charges, but now goes out to the blue line. DeBrusque with a spinning shot. That one may have gotten blocked into the corner. And Canadians trying to clear. However, DeBrusque keeps it in the corner. DeBrusque looks, passes in front. Coil knocked away here by Pearson. And Pearson's going to bring it out to center. Pearson over to White. Back out to center, knocked away. Thanks, Fitz. Let me know when you have time. Just want to try and figure out before opening day. Uh, I have time really any day. I got time a lot of days, actually, so. I have time. Uh-oh, Geeky. Geeky loses the puck. That one knocked away. I got time, so. Now it dumped into center. Whoop. Oh, it's offsides on Gallagher. It's offsides against the Canadians. The so Bruins um, just got lucky. Yeah, Canva is pretty easy to work with. I mean, you just log in with your Google account. It is free to use. The Pro, Canva Pro, has like way more options. But the things we use it for, like I use it for, you don't need Pro. I only use the free version. Pro versions, like you can use Instagram stuff and make moving pictures. It's like, no, I'm good. Photoshop. Here's Beecher. Beecher to the corner. You have a non-streaming event coming up. Preferably a weekend night when I'm not streaming either. Uh, it would be have to do it. I can do it like Saturday evening. <laughs> um, I don't have anything tomorrow. Well, I do have a stream tomorrow, but I could cancel that. I'm still 50-50 on that one. But I am available Saturday night if you need it. There's a shot goes wide. Rebound controlled by Carlo. Cleared all the way down to center. And the Bruins are going to be called for an icing. I always got to remember, you're not on the same time. It's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon for me. It would be 12 a.m. for you. So it's like I got to remember that. Um. Yeah, usually I'm open. I can do it like Saturday night for me. Yeah, Saturday night works for uh, Sunday morning for me. Yeah, it usually works. It's really simple. All you get... Oh, there's a shot that goes wide. I mean, getting the images on Canva is a little bit trickier, but 
It's not going to be too difficult. Matsubo has to play it behind his net. Bruins getting some fresh players on the ice. Here's Suzuki. Brings it up to center. Suzuki drops it off over to Caulfield. Caulfield gets it over to Suzuki. Goes wide. Caulfield loses it. Caulfield fires one on net. Stolen away by Zaka. He gets it into Pasternak on a breakaway. Pasternak. Backhander. Save me by Matsubo. As he tried a tough angle shot and he couldn't get it. Oh, man. And that one cleared out to center. Matsubo made a huge stop. But we got a penalty. It's a hooking call. We got a hooking call. It might be against the Canadians. Uh, it might be against the Bruins, actually. I have to make a post real quick. PAS in the house. How's the game? Um, it's honestly pretty good. It's honestly pretty good. Second period was a, it's getting a little slow. Pretty good opportunities. It's a PAS raid. Oh, well, I'm not used to Johnny doing raids. Not used to Mr. Football doing some raids. I'm assuming Pure is probably like in the intermission right now, so. I'm going to fix this real quick. Oh, I got a moment. All right, so looks like the Bruins will be shorthanded. There, fix that. So PAS sending a raid over. Sean saying, hmm, tie gain so far. I like overtime odds, of course. Of course, lol. You have a dedicated mic pointing at your keyboard or what? No, it's just the keyboard. My keyboard is that loud. I... Coil tries to oh excuse me. Coil tries to clear that one all the way down. Suzuki keeps it in. Caulfield. Centering pass over to Galloway. Or Galloway, excuse me. Then that one cleared all the way down. My keyboard is literally that loud. Like honestly. No matter what I do, the keyboard is just that loud. Nothing I can do about it. It's just like second I have this computer, it's like super loud. Oh, Matheson loses the puck. Tried to get it over to Suzuki, and Marshan steals it away. Marshan drives in. Oh, it's knocked away by Matheson. Nearly a big shorthanded goal, and here comes Caulfield for the Canadians. Drops it off to Suzuki. Caulfield, Suzuki, looks, gets it over to Matheson. Matheson. Caulfield over to Matheson. Matheson looking, looking, gets it over to Caulfield. Back out to Suzuki. Over to Matheson. Matheson looking. Gets it to Caulfield. Sakovsky. Sakovsky gets it over to Matheson. Matheson over to Suzuki. Back to Matheson. Matheson to Suzuki. Sakovsky shoots. Save. Hallmark. Rebound behind the net. Knocked away by Watherspoon. Out to DeBrusque. DeBrusque. And gets it to Coil. And that one cleared all the way down. Hey, Pure, if you're still here, tell Sean that they're planning to adjust the overtime rules. 
on the in the general manager meetings, they're going to bring up uh, potentially changing the overtime rules, or at least that's what they mentioned, talking about three on three overtime, potentially changing it. Oh, it's like shit. Ah, I can't read that name. He shoots it, and now it goes wide out to center ice. Frederick tries to keep control of the puck knocked away, and Canadians still have it in their own end. Dwayne is in here saying, let's go Canadians. Montreal has control of the puck. They send it out to Amira and stolen away by Heinen. Heinen over to Pasternak, knocked away, changing it to what? Um, I had it. I didn't really listen to it too much, but they were talking about making some changes to it. I believe they said they might make four on four. I wasn't really listening to it. All I just heard says there could be a change to overtime. There could be a change to the overtime rules. Pasternak brings it up in the general manager meetings coming up this week. Pasternak loses the puck. Knocked away into the corner. And here comes Montreal the other way. New hook. New hook gives it to Waugh. He shoots, goes wide. Peak loses it inside his own net. Peak tries to keep it in. Here's Armia. Armia. Armia dancing behind the net. Tries to pass it out to Waugh. Knocked away. Rebound to the corner. There's a shot. Goes wide. Rebound controlled again by Waugh. Canadians putting in some pressure. Armia. Harris. Sergovich out to Waugh. Open net. Shot. Save made again. Rebound by Waugh. To the corner. Why? Harris shoots down. Another one got blocked. And it's going to go in. Oh. Puck's going to go out of play. Whoa. They're going to call a delay a game. Oh, no. They're calling a delay a game. And it's going to be against Boston. Two minutes for a delay a game. So, Bruins are going to take a penalty. Why three channels? What do you mean, why three channels? By calling a delay a game? Doesn't the delay a game more? Doesn't that delay the game more? Food for thought. I don't know. Face-off is won by Beecher here for the Bruins inside their own den. They're going to clear it all the way down as Matheson has to go get it. Matheson behind his net. Matheson looks. Drops it off over to Suzuki. Suzuki brings it in. Knocked away. Sent to the corner. Carlo. Carlo. Looks over towards Coyle. Knocked away into the corner. And Lenholm clears it all the way down. Matheson has it. Matheson drops it off. Over to Caulfield. Caulfield over to Suzuki. Suzuki brings it in. Suzuki over to Caulfield. Caulfield looking, looking, drops it back off to Suzuki. Over to Matheson. Matheson shoots. That one got blocked. Rebound controlled by the Canadians. 20 seconds to go here in the second period. Matheson over to Slikovsky. Pass in front. Oh, stick save by Omar. Kicked away into the corner. Suzuki. Caulfield back to Suzuki. Suzuki sends it to the blue line. Matheson shoots. That one got blocked. Rebound. Two seconds. Shot. Allmark makes the save. And that one knocked away into the corner. And we are going to the second period, or third period, actually. Still one to one. I need that soda. All right. Need that drink. <clears throat> All right. Let's go check out what Pure is doing. A little chilly in here. Oh, I got a notification saying KD. Where is Pure on my subscriber list? There he is. He's got nine people watching.
Man, Pierre's game must be going slow. Pierre, what? Is your, your game going slow? I see he's in the end of the... All right, let's see what's going on over here. We got 12 likes on the stream. It's just been a little slow on the view count, but that's all right. Let's see what's going on here. All right, wow. Buffalo's completely turned the game around against new uh, the Islanders. 3 nothing Buffalo. End of two period, about near the second intermission. Hurricanes have a 3 nothing lead over the Panthers. Five minutes to go in the second period over there. Uh, Blue Jackets have a one nothing lead over the Senators. Uh, four minutes to go in the second period. Arizona has a 2-1 to lead over Detroit. Um, wow, second period. Uh, Penguins have come back, take a lead three to two over the Sharks. Uh, second period, Rangers still have a two to one lead over the Lightning. First, oh, it, oh, yeah, it's only the first intermission. The uh, Maple Leafs have a three nothing lead over the Flyers. First period, Stars have a two to one lead over the Devils. First period. About three minutes to go in the first light uh, wild of a one nothing lead over the Ducks. Other games going on nine o'clock. We got the Golden Knights and Flames, and at ten o'clock we have the Capitals and the Kraken. All right. Still got five people watching this. This nonsense as I wait uh, for the game. Uh, shots on net, 14. Wow, only 14 for the Bruins through two periods and 13 for the Canadians through two periods. Sheesh. Slow. Now that is what I call not great. Now, that is what I call not many shots. 14 for Boston and only 13 for the Canadians. However, the Canadians are going to be still on a power play. Claude Godin subscribed. All 
Oh, I didn't see Claude subscribe. I did, but then I check on YouTube Studio and it says that they didn't. Stream element says they subscribe, but they must have instantly unsubbed. What? It's Mr. Football. Maybe 50 should dress up as Spider. Uh, maybe Grady should dress up as Spider Man to save the flyers. I'm just saying, Johnny. I'm just saying. Because, you know, Grady in that Spider Man suit, that was pretty funny. Funny things on Twitter, man. <laughs> All right, how much time we got left into the intermission? Eight minutes, wow. All right, we're just a little quiet. All right, I have Johnny in the background. Still got 14 likes on the stream, but there's not a lot of people in the chat. All right, let's see what we got. All right. All right. Uh, they're just talking about still in the pregame or pregame, postgame. Post, my God. Intermission. Talking about the, with the uh, Ace Leafs, Maple Leafs head coach, uh, Canadians head coach, Marty St. Louis. I do have it on the Canadians uh, broadcast tonight, so.
All right. The Canadians lead the NHL. Wow. Canadians lead the NHL with 37 one-goal games this year. They are currently 16, 11, and 10 in one-goal games. So, I, they play in a lot of one-goal games. Talking also about the Canadians on what one of the better teams on the penalty kill. Ooh, breaking the Eagles in the, no shot. Oh, what a shocker. 3.47 p.m. today, I didn't even realize that Adam Duvall, or one month after they're saying Jaron Kelnick will be the outfielder or main outfielder for the Atlanta Braves, the Braves have decided to platoon with Adam Duvall again. This dude just loves the Braves for some reason. Like, Adam Duvall just loves the Braves. He goes to, like, say, Florida or something. He goes right back to the Braves. Might as well just keep his house in Florida, or might as well just keep a house in Atlanta because he loves the Braves. Also, Adam Schefter reported. Adam Schefter reported that Devin White is signing a one-year deal worth up to seven point five million dollars uh, dollars with the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, they're talking about the Phillies and Toronto game. Oh, it's three to one. It was three to nothing, but now it's three to one. Who scored for the Flyers? Who scored for the Flyers? They didn't say. Oh, dear. All right, they're tied. Looks like other games, Coyotes have a 2-1 to lead over the Red Wings. Rangers and Lightning, 2-2. Intermission, 3-0 three nothing, three nothing Sabres over the Islanders. 1-0 uh, Blue Jackets over the Senators. 3-0 Hurricanes after, uh, leading the Panthers. Uh, first intermission, Stars and Devils tied up at 2. one nothing Wild over the Ducks. First intermission, and later tonight at 9 p.m., Golden Knights and Flames at, at 9, Capitals and Kraken on at 10. What else is going on? What else is Adam Schefter going to report tonight? Eagles, former Eagles tight end, Jake Stoll. Reached an agreement on a one year deal with the Giants.
Jets have released Corey Davis from the reserve slash retired list. Huh. I forgot Corey Davis existed. To be honest, look, I'm not I'm not joking. I kind of forgot Corey Davis actually existed. Man, shots in that second period. Six for the Bruins and five for the Canadians. Holy crap, that was horrible. All right, so we're starting up the third. All right, so we're starting up the third and potentially final period of the game. Canadians will start out on the power play. All right, so here we go. Talking about Cole Caulfield to break his streak of 11 scoreless games. This is a big, big name if you can get it for the Canadians. Watherspoon still in the box serving his penalty. Oh, they're talking about hosting the Flyers again on Saturday. Canadians when Canadians when going through uh, two periods tied up a tied up five five and four so pretty even Canadians win the draw Bruins have it in their own end they're gonna clear it all the way down Marshan tries to shoot her immediately on net that one denied played into the corner Matheson Matheson just over to Sarkovsky. Drops back off over to Matheson. 20 seconds to go here on the man of it. Whoa. Matheson gets it over to Sarkovsky. Loses the puck. Sarkovsky brings it in. Looks. Suzuki shoots. Goes wide. Rebound controlled by the Canadians. Caulfield keeps it in. Matheson. Lukowski shoots. Save. Allmark. Puck still loose. Suzuki over to Matheson. Matheson fires. Allmark. That one goes wide. Penalty is over. Coyle clears that one all the way down to center. Now inside the Canadians end. It hits off of uh, Matsuba. Matsuba. Jeez. Forget his name. I keep, remember, keep forgetting his name. Canadians bring it up to center. Now shoot it inside the center ice. And Allmark's going to call for an icing. And he's going to get it. So Canadians will get the icing. Oh, Solikovsky almost looked like he broke his stick on that one angle. Face off inside the Canadians end. Face off is won by the Bruins. They have it at the blue line. Here's McAvoy. McAvoy shoots, goes wide, rebound controlled by David Posternock. Posternock with a spinning shot, fires, goes wide. Evans tries to clear. Posternock keeps it right back in. Hits it over to Zaka, stolen away. As the Canadians dump it right back in. Gallagher shoots on net. All Mark's going to hold on and make the save. Hold on. Of course, the Canadians broadcast being a little bit biased, saying I'm going to go for the underdog. Well, Canadians are heavy underdogs in this game. I mean, heavy. Sorry, there's some stuff behind my computer. Can I get this? All right, here we go. Jack Eye shoots one, goes wide. Rebound controlled by Waugh. Waugh slings it into the corner. Boquist is there to intercept the pass. And here comes Frederick the other way. Frederick loses the puck, and it goes behind the Montreal net. Out towards Boquist. Boquist towards Wotherspoon, just chips it into the corner. Peak looking for it, but there's Geeky out to Wotherspoon. 
Waterspoon shoots, goes wide, rebound control, controlled by Boquist. Boquist, spinning shot. Kept in though here by Frederick. Frederick. Frederick, out to Waterspoon. Waterspoon. Whoop, there's a shot. Go May, looked like it went wide. Peak tries to get the rebound, cannot. And New Hook controls the rebound. Here's Jack Guy. Jeez, my hair does not look good right now. Jack Guy clears it all the way down, and that one's going to be an icing against the Canadians. All right. Face off inside the Canadians end. New hook wins the draw for the Canadians. Zarell I sends that one out to center. Now over to McAvoy. McAvoy gets it to Lorai. Lorai over to Coyle. Coyle drops it off to DeBrusque. DeBrusque looks, shoots. It got blocked. And Savard may have gotten a piece of it. Bruins try to clear. They cannot. Coyle. Coyle over to Lorai. Lorai tries to drop it off to DeBrusque. And that one knocked away by Matheson. And lift it out to center. Hits off a stick. And that one's going to be another icing against the Canadians. 17.03 to go here in the third. How many icings are we going to get in this period? Jeez, I think that's like three now. How many? I believe that's three. I believe that's three. So another face-off inside the Canadians' end of the ice. <laughs> And looks like the Bruins win the draw. Zaka gets it over to McAvoy. McAvoy looks over to Heinen. Spinning shot goes wide. Rebound controlled, looks like, by Montreal. Matheson shoots it out to center. Cleared back in here by the Bruins. Matheson has it at his own red line. Now behind his, uh, behind his cage. Matheson looks, feeds it up ahead. Matheson just dumps it in, gets it over to Ed to Solkowski. It's off of Carlo's stick inside the Bruins' end. Carlo lifts on down into center, now inside the Canadians' end. That one dies just before the red line, so it won't be an icing. Matheson, pass knocked down here by uh, Potsdok. He gets it over to Locko, and that one knocked away and cleared into center. Two on one here for the Canadians. Slokowski shoots. That got blocked. Lindholm in the corner to help. Brazo tried to clear it out to the blue line, and it is. Shot, save, all mark, rebound, knocked away, and here comes Boston. Brazo brings it right wing. Brazo dumps it into the corner, beats out the icing call. Brazo spins, feeds out to Peak. Peak shoots that may have gotten blocked. Rebound, though, controlled by the Bruins. Beecher over to Brazo. Brazo. Brazo gets it up, tries to get it out to Frederick, knocked away. Brazo somehow keeps that one in as the Canadians cannot clear it. Frederick, big on that four check. Gooley's got the puck. Crowd getting into it right now. Gooley's got the puck behind his net. Gooley looks around, feeds it up ahead over to... Here comes the Canadians. Pass is intercepted here by Boquist. Boquist brings it out left wing and shoots it right back into center ice. Canadians trying to clear. They cannot. Frederick feeds to Lorai. Lorai. Whoop. Shot is wide of the net again. Controlled, though, by the Bruins. Lorai out towards Brazil. Knocked down. And that one cleared all the way down to center. Anderson trying to beat out that call, icing call, and he will, as Anderson sends down to the ice by McAvoy. Evans. Evans over to Gallagher. Sent to the blue line. Gallagher. Jack Eye shoots. Uh, may have gotten blocked. Folk was controlled the rebound. He gets it into McAvoy. McAvoy sends it in, played by Geeky. And behind the net, Geeky. Over to Jack Eye. Jack Eye back to over to Kovacevic. Kovacevic behind his net. Plays it up ahead. Armamia gets it over to Wa. Wa fighting for it along with Wa the Spoon. Wa the Spoon tries to get it. Out of his own net, and he does have to center ice now inside the Canadian 10 as the Bruins are going to get a change. 14 minutes to go here in the third. Matheson clears it to the blue line, back out to Waugh. 
Wall over to Newhook with a nice move. And crowd wanted a penalty, but rest didn't call it. Wah. Wah trying to get it out. Wah the spoon fight for that puck over towards DeBrusque. DeBrusque lift that one out to center. And inside the Canadians. And Matheson has it. Matheson in his own zone. Now out to the blue line. Gets it over to Gooley. And that one knocked away. Canadians keeping it in, though. Cola Caulfield shoots. Allmark is going to make the save with the glove. And finally, we're going to have a stoppage. But 13 21 to go here in the, th- in the third period. Still one to one. Still have not gained a sub tonight, but that's all right. If you like hockey, just hit that like button. That helps helps the channel out with, for me. Ooh, man, it is hot here. Even though I am wearing a sweatshirt. It is a little hot here. Tomorrow's the weekend. Friday. Yeah, something in my thumb is like killing me right now. Like I'm in my thumb or something. And they're just talking about the Nick Suzuki goal back in the first period of play. All right, here we go. Score tied up at one. Face off inside the Bruins' end of the ice. 13-21 to go here in the third. 16 shots for the Bruins compared to the Canadians' 15. Face off is won by uh, the Bruins. Lindholm has it in his own end. Gets it over towards Brazil. Brazil brings it to center now inside the Canadian end, but it's knocked away by Slikovsky. Kovacevic tries to get rid of it. Gets it over to Herbert, Herbert Docker. Knocked away. Rebound controlled though by McAvoy. McAvoy with the loose puck, charges behind the net. McAvoy to the blue line. Shot wide. Flacco shot goes wide. Rebound controlled by Brazil. Here comes Montreal the other way. Cleared into center, knocked away. Oh, it's offside. Offsides. It might have went offsides. Or are they, did they take a lot of play? Oh, went out of play, apparently, according to the official. All right. Face off inside the neutral zone, and it's won by the Canadians. Harris with the puck, stole away here by Boquist. Gets it over to Zaka. Back to Boquist, drop pass, knocked away. Canadians trying to keep it inside center ice. Harris to center, knocked away. Evans tried to control it, still loose in center. And Bruins back with control of the puck. Boquist over to Frederick. Frederick, Boquist, shot, save. Oh! Montembeau bounced, looked like it may have bounced. It might have hit off his pad and bounced right into his glove. But either way, he's going to make the save. See geeky to Boquist shot. Yep, bounced off his pat, bounced off his uh, pad, and went straight into his glove. So what a stop! Big stop there by Montenbaum. There's something wrong with the chat. No, once in a great while we get one of those streams where it's just abs- where it's dead quiet. I mean, we get we have people in the chat, but nobody's chatting it up, which is fine. Face off is won by the Bruins. Here's McAvoy. McAvoy looks. It's it's a Marshan. Oh, I tried to shoot it out of the backhand and it goes wide. 
Rebound controlled by Marchant. Charges, fires one in. Montembeau makes the save. Puck still loose, controlled again by the Bruins. Marchand with a spinning shot. That one deflected, and it goes to center ice. Gooley steals it away. Here's Waugh, tries to shoot. Oh, it goes wide, and the Bruins are going to clear it out to center ice. Coyle over to Marchand. Marchand to DeBrusque, back to Coyle. Knocked away here by Newhook, and Newhook's going to clear it out to center. Here's Armia. Armia past the Bruin blue line, tries to shoot it, knocked away here by DeBrusque. Armia Jack, Armia Jack out, sends it into center, knocked away by DeBrusque, cleared back into center. Armia loses the puck, chipped back inside the Maple Leaf, Maple Leaf, Canadian's end, and it goes out of play. Doesn't sound like we're going into a commercial break. Getting a little hot in here. Starting to get hot in here. I don't know why it's getting so hot in here. Face off is won by the Canadians. They lift it inside the Bruins end of the ice. Lindholm is there in the corner. Oh. Wow, they call that offsides. Wow, they call it offsides. Every time they for the last like two plays, they have uh they've been zooming in on Charlie McAvoy on the Bruins bench. Looks like overtime. <laughs> nope. Hope not. Face off in the neutral zone. It looks like it's won by Boston. They have it in their own end. Out to Posternak. McAvoy over to Posternak. Now dumped into the corner. Posternak loses the puck and cleared into center ice. Carlo is with control. Carlo brings it up. Over towards Zaka. Knocked away into the corner. Montebo has to play it behind his net. Gets it over towards Caulfield. Knocked away. It's still inside his own end. Suzuki. Suzuki. Looking. Over to Jakob. Now all the way down inside the Canadian end, Suzuki beats out the icing centering pass. It's knocked away by Carlo. Carlo trying to fight for that puck along with Stolokovsky. And Zaka controls the loose puck behind his net. Zaka gets it over to Pasternak. Pasternak brings it up right wing. Oh, good move by Pasternak. Goes to the backhand over to Heinen. Oh, stopped. Oquist keeps it in play. Over to Pasternak. Pasternak looks, looks. And that one knocked away here by the Canadians. Here they come center ice. They dump it inside the Bruin end. Might have hit off of Hallmark. McAvoy gets it over to Lori in the center. And Canadians are right there over to Harris is there. Dumps it in. Played by McAvoy. Hit up against the boards. McAvoy into the corner. Lori, in, Lori looking for that puck. Lori fighting with both. Fighting along with Janice for that puck. Here comes Frederick right wing. Frederick brings it in. Looks, fires, goes wide, rebound controlled by Frederick into the corner. Frederick sends it to the blue line. Out towards Peak. Peak shoots, goes wide, and loose puck controlled by Boquist. Boquist over to Frederick. He's hit up against the boards. Geeky fighting for that loose puck into the corner. And Boquist tries to send it out to the blue line. Canadians are right there, though, as Pearson dumps it inside the Boston end. While the spoon has it behind his net. Waterspoon plays it up ahead. It's off a skate, and it goes inside the Canadian's end. Beecher sent it over to Locko. That pass goes wide. Matheson is right there, and Canadians have control. They send it out to center. Knocked away. Anderson loses the puck and goes right over to Gallagher. Gallagher had some space, but Locko's fight for that puck, and we got a penalty. Locko is going to draw a hold. Locko is going to go to the box for a hold. And Montgomery is not happy about it. 8.53 to go here in the third. Still one to one.
Yep, done with my root beer. Done with the root beer. Finished out my root beer. Chat, now I'm on a root beer. What do I do? All right. Yeah, so Jim Montgomery not happy about that call. So here we go. This is a big power play here for the Canadians if you can get it. Just two hours and ten minutes into this game. Only two hours and ten minute game so far. Big face off and it's won by the Bruins. Carlo has the puck. Gets it over to Coyle. Coyle bouncing puck. And Caulfield tries to shoot and he cannot. Nice move. Knocked away. Carl Coyle's going to try to clear it and he will. Inside the Montreal end. Matheson nearly lost the puck in his own den. Matheson brings it out to the blue line. Suzuki dumps it into the corner. Hit off of Carlo. Kept it though by Lindholm. Lindholm over to Coyle. Coyle lobs it, tries to get it over to Marchand, but Montebo is right there. Montebo into the corner. Gets it over to Matheson. Matheson with 120 to go here on the power play. Matheson being pressured here by Zaka. Drops it over to Suzuki. Suzuki knocked away here by McAvoy. McAvoy jumping up for that puck. Still loose. And Zaka clears it all the way down. As, Zaka, as uh, McAvoy was hurt. McAvoy is down on the ice. McAvoy got clocked in the jaw, they said. got Might have got hit with a fist. Well, it looks like he's standing up. Let's see. So... I don't see anything. Oh, it was the end of a stick. Looks like the end of a stick on that angle. Oh, and Montgomery's pissed. Montgomery's pissed. He's... Oh, they're going to review it. They are going to review. They are going to review. I mean, the one angle they showed. Okay, here's another angle. Oh, that... That might be called. That might be a penalty. Now, it is a penalty. Now the question is, are they going to call it a double minor? McAvoy's just sitting on the bench. He's not in the tunnel. He's not in the tunnel right now. So this is definitely going to wipe out the four on four. I mean, this is definitely going to wipe out the Canadians' uh, power play. So they're saying it hit Suzuki, like the Suzuki stick hits McAvoy's face. Near his uh, jaw. It's definitely going to be a penalty, but I don't know if it's going to be a double minor. Well, they are taking their time. They're very up oh, here. They go. Here come the referees. Double minor. They're going to call a double minor here against Nick Suzuki. So Suzuki is going to go to the box.
Martin Saint Martin Saint Louis is mad. He's not as mad as Jim Montgomery got earlier, but he's he's not happy. So looks like the Bruins are gonna be on the power play. Of course, I have Nick Suzuki on my fantasy team. I drafted him with like one of my later round picks. All right, so here we go. Faceoff is going to be inside the Canadian's end. We're going to have some four on four here for a little bit. Looks like four on four. Yep, four on four. So four on four for about a minute and two seconds. The Canadians win the draw on their own end, intercepted here by Heinen. Heinen gets it over to Boquist. Boquist out to Lindholm. Lindholm at the blue line. Fires one. That one goes wide. Caulfield has it behind the net. Caulfield brings it up to center. Caulfield. Caulfield over to Gooley. Gooley out to Lindholm. Lindholm over towards Heinen. Knocked away. Oh, here's Peak. Peak drops it off. Plays it up ahead over to Heinen. Heinen slammed up against the boards. 25 seconds to go. Heinen still fighting for that puck along with Gooley. Gooley gets the loose puck. Tries to play it up. No good. Rebound Boquist. Boquist centering pass is knocked away by Matheson. By Matheson, excuse me. Gooley. 10 seconds to go on the 4-on-4. Four four. Three seconds to go. Drops it to Matheson. Two, one. Bruins are going to have a power play for the next three minutes. Here's Armia. Fires one in on Allmark. He makes the save. Rebound in the corner. Another turnover. Canadians have the puck. Savar with a shot on oh, a save made by Allmark. He's going to hold on to it. And so the four on four is over. Canadians are going to go into a TV timeout. Maybe. <laughs> Sound like they were. All right. Oh, they're not going to a TV timeout. Faceoff is won by the Canadians. Matheson shoots it in. Now it goes wide of the net. McAvoy gets it over to DeBrusque. 2.30 to go here on the man advantage. Here's Coyle. Over to, over to DeBrusque. DeBrusque charges in. Drops it back off over to Marchand. Marchand tries to pass, and now it knocked away. Bernard, Bernard Dolly sends that one all the way down into the Bruins' head as McAvoy picks the puck up. McAvoy, over towards DeBrusque. DeBrusque, plays it over to Pasta, knock back to DeBrusque in the corner, over towards Coyle. Coyle to McAvoy. McAvoy to Marshan. Back to McAvoy. Fires, that one to save. Made rebound DeBrusque, and he couldn't uh, bank it in. Canadians cleared all the way down. 5.50 to go as Allmark puts it over to McAvoy near the blue line. McAvoy over to Coyle. Coyle charges in right wing, fires it off the glass. Gets it to Marshan. Out to Pasternak and now goes all the way down to the center right. Canadian player getting to it. Oh, Pasternak sends a player down to the ice as McAvoy gets it over to Coil. Matheson loses it. Trips up Pasternak, but there's no call. And the Canadians lift it out to center as Lorai is there. Lorai falls down. No call. Armia trying to fight for that puck. And that one cleared to center. It's Geeky 2-on-2. Two 2-on-2 two. Two two with Frederick. Geeky sends it to the corner. Frederick loses it. Cleared towards center. Intercepted here by Armia. And he's got to clear it all the way down the ice. Oh, Panara gets there first. Oh, but it's sent back down to the Canadian's end of the ice by to Matheson. Matheson loses the puck. Kept in, though, by the Bruins. McAvoy shoots. Oh, Brazil tries to shoot it on a tough angle, knocked away by Montembaugh. Brazil, over to Zaka. Zaka looks. Brazil, back to Zaka. Zaka, over to McAvoy. McAvoy, Geeky, March and shoot, save made. Montembaugh, rebound, controlled by Geeky again. Geeky, out to McAvoy. McAvoy over to Zaka. Zaka, McAvoy. 
Here's Frederick charges in. Oh, another save made. Rebound into the corner. Brazo. Brazo to McAvoy. Puck still loose. Two seconds to go here on the power play, and the power play is over. Frederick at the blue line. Shoots. Save made. Rebound. Puck still loose. And Geeky has it. Rebound into the corner. Brazo over to Zaka. Still loose. Zaka gets it to Geeky. Geeky into the corner. Past the red line. Looks. Whoa. Stick goes flying into the netting. And that one cleared into the other corner. And the Canadians are going to try to lift it out to center. And they will. Bruins getting some fresh legs. Lindholm has it behind his blue line. In his own end. 3.20 to go. Lindholm clears it all the way down the ice. And we're finally going to get an icing. 3.15 to go in the third. The Bruins could not capitalize on the double minor. Crowd is finally getting back into this game. This is getting crazy. This is getting a little crazy here. Face off inside the Bruins end. We've not been having too many TV timeouts in this period. Face off is won by the Canadians. Shot on net is blocked and it goes to towards the blue line. So Lukowski. So Lukowski gets it over to Carlo, knocked away. And now cleared out by the Bruins inside the Canadians end. Three minutes to go. Sean is in here saying we want overtime. OT, OT, OT. It's looking realistic. Unless one of these two teams can do something. Gooley behind his net. Gooley sends it out to center ice. Over towards Evans. Evans over to Anderson. Anderson towards Evans. Intercepted here by Heinen. He brings it out to center. Heinen. Dumped into the corner. Looks. Knocked away. Harris sends down into the corner. Beecher fighting for it for, for the Bruins. DeBrusque gets it to Beecher. Beecher back towards DeBrusque. DeBrusque still looking. And that one's sent into the corner. Heinen looking around for it. Heinen over towards Beecher. Heinen falls down. Gets it to DeBrusque. Save made. Rebound. DeBrusque with the rebound. Pass in front. Oh, and another stop. Montembeau makes a save, and Beecher and Evans starting to get a little chippy towards the end of it. Beecher loses the helmet. Anderson trying to take off the gloves along with Evans. They're not taking off the gloves, but Beecher lost the helmet. Beecher did lose his helmet. Finally, they're going to go to a DB timeout. 2.05 to go here in the third. It's still a one-to-one -one game. Dwayne's saying we don't need overtime. Hey, I'm back for overtime. The streak might be coming back. Tight one. Nice, says Chris. Yeah, this is a good game. Canadian. Dwayne is saying let's go Canadians. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough game. This is going to be a tough game. I expected the Bruins win by two goals. I said they were going to win uh, four to two, but definitely not happening here. Two minutes to go heading into the, after this commercial break. Sean, if you're still here, how's Pierce stream going? How's Pierce stream going for you guys? Janine Yawson saying, sheesh. that this game might go into overtime. Well, if you guys are regulars to the channel, you know how much we get overtime. Oh, wow. Breaking news from ESPN. NC State. NC State upsets Duke to keep its ACC championship hopes alive. What? <laughs> oh, pure adrenaline is at the second period. Looks like pure adrenaline is at the end of the second period. Three to one. Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs are four for four on the penalty kill tonight. 18 of 18 in their last six games. That is impressive. That's a pretty good statistic. Montembeau making some big stuff. Dang it. 
Drop this, drop this box. All right. This is a lot for both teams. Well, Bruins are good at going into overtime, Jenny. It's, uh, they do it a lot. Uh, they lead the league in overtime losses. So they go to overtime a lot, a lot more than you think. I think I have like over 20 overtime game appearances and they've lost like 15 of them. 15 or 16, I believe. It's a high number. And the faceoff is won by the Bruins inside the Canadiens' end. McAvoy gets to Marchand. Shot save made. Rebound in the corner. Canadians trying to clear. They cannot. Marchand in the corner. Over towards Zaka. Knocked away here by the Canadians. Out to Matheson. Matheson. Matheson tries to shoot it. Knocked away here by Watherspoon. Watherspoon clears it out to center. Near, it knocked away near the blue line. And Tarakovsky regains control of the puck. Tarakovsky brings it in. Brings it into center. Fires it in the corner. Knocked away. Cleared to center. Nope. Dumped right back inside the Boston end. Here's Marshan. Marshan over to McAvoy. McAvoy behind his net. 120 to go here in the period. Postnock loses it. He somehow gets it over to Wadispoon. Maybe Canadians not touching it. Touching the puck as it would have been offsides. Here's McAvoy. Gets it into Coyle. Coyle dumped it into the corner. Evans clears it down for Montreal. And that goes inside the Bruins end of the ice near the blue line. As McAvoy gets the puck. One minute to go here in the third. Coyle dumps it on in. Here's Arbor Jack Guy. Arbor Jack Guy sends it out. Oh, Armia, Armia spins and loses the puck in center. Gets it to Evans. Fires in a save made by Allmark. And Canadians trying to keep the pressure. Armia shoots. That one blocked rebound in the slot. Armia shoots another save by Allmark into the corner. Evans. Oh, Pernar shoots. That one knocked away. 24 seconds to go. Canadians at the blue line. Another shot. That one blocked. Rebound controlled by Boston. They're trying to clear into center and they will. And it somehow goes into the Canadians' end. Evans with the puck. 10 seconds to go in the third. Arbor Jack Guy fires it into the corner. Lindholm is there to intercept the pass. Three, two, one. Shot is blocked. And we're going to go to overtime. Overtime. Here we go. Sean? Sean. And we're going to go to overtime. An educated sports talk is going to stream the Mavericks and Oklahoma City Thunder in 30 minutes. Oh, yep. The curse strikes back again, Dallas. I just typed in pure adrenaline's chat saying Sean is a curse because he's the one who said this game was going to go to overtime. So Sean was the one who said it. Sean said it and it happened. That's twice now. I can remember now. Sean has said the game was going to go into overtime and it did. <sighs> Screw you, Sean. Listen, Sean, we like you, but some days, oh my goodness. I think it's that dumb profile picture of his that says cheer if you want overtime. A dumb, gritty thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is, if you can see it, it says make noise if you want overtime. Sean. All right, so here we go. Three on three, five minute overtime. And Sean, how dare you? This is not your mud water. This is a this is Fago. Landon's favorite drink. Most overtime losses. The Bruins have 15. Islanders with 14. Seattle with 12. Uh, the Kings with 11. Montreal with 10. And Columbus with 10. So those are the top six. Well, the top six uh in overtime losses. So both these teams right up there in the overtime loss department. All right.
Yeah. Oh, wow. They're not bringing the top line out. What are they doing? I bring the top line out. Oh, they're bringing like the second line out. They have DeBrusque, Beecher, and look like Watherspoon. Watherspoon or Lindholm? I couldn't tell. Here we go. Base off and center ice. Caulfield, Suzuki, and Matheson for the Canadians. The Canadians win the draw, and we are underway. Here in overtime, Matheson brings it up to center ice. Now inside the Can Bruins end, Matheson drives in on the backhand. Couldn't get the shot. Lindholm push. Lindholm giving the pressure. Fighting along with DeBrusque for that puck. He gets it over to Marchand. Marchand and DeBrusque charging up the ice. Two on one with DeBrusque. Marchand to DeBrusque. Backhander shoots. Scores and the Bruins win it. Jake DeBrusque with the overtime winner. And the Bruins are going to win it two to one here in Montreal. It was a huge turnover by Matheson. And two on one. It was Marchand and DeBrusque. And Marchand with a beautiful pass to DeBrusque. I thought he DeBrusque airmailed the backhanded shot. But DeBrusque wins it for the Bruins 2-1 to one in overtime. And the Bruins get a huge regulation win. Big win. Shouldn't have really went into overtime with the Canadians. But yeah, 2-1-1. On one. Marchand and DeBrusque. DeBrusque with a beautiful move. Fakes Monson Boom. I definitely said his name wrong again. Yep, 25 seconds. Took 25 seconds. That's how long overtime took. Oh, there's Jer there's Swayman and All Mark doing the tip their typical celebration. <laughs> Somebody threw an energy drink on the on the ice. Or maybe a beer. I couldn't tell. But there's a pop can or something on the ice. So right now, big win for the Bruins as they keep their hopes, uh division hopes alive. Uh keep their division hopes. Fighting with the Florida Panthers for that Atlantic Division crown. Oh, my Red Wings are sucking again. Sucking butt. Tucking ass through a straw. Uh, Hurricanes. Yeah. Panthers are going to probably lose. Yeah, the Bruins get some huge two points. All right. So with that, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you guys for coming on in here tonight. We shall see you guys in a later stream. Hope you guys all have a good one. I still cannot put, for some reason, it stopped me from doing redirections, which is irritating. So I shall see you guys all later. Hold on, you know what? I'm going to post Pure Adrenaline's link in the chat. Here, let me post his link. Go check him out. Boom. Link is in the chat. I shall see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye, bye, everybody, as soon as that link shows up. See you guys later.